Have you ever gone to open up one of your Excel workbooks and gotten an error message that says you're unable to open the file because it's been corrupted? This happened to me recently and I found some steps that I was able to take that helped me open my document. I'm going to show you what I did today and hopefully it will also work for you. So what ha probably happened is you've gone and gotten this error message because you've tried to open up your file and it's saying that it's corrupted and Excel cannot open it. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up Excel. And Excel will open and come to the open folder and then click on browse. Uh, we want to open up the open menu window where we can navigate to the file that's been corrupted that we want to open and we're going to select it. And then before we click to open it, because we know we're going to get an error message if we try to just open it, we're going to come down and do a drop down. You'll notice here there's an option that says open and repair. If this option is grayed out, then unfortunately there may not be anything that you can do to fix the file and open it. But if you can select open and repair, go ahead and select that option. You'll get a message here that pops up and the first thing you're going to try is to click on repair. This is going to, if this works, this will open up your document for you, which would be great. Um, if this does not work for you, then you're going to follow these steps again and click on extract data. Extract data is the option you would select if you, um, if it can't be repaired and you need to salvage at least some of the data or try to salvage some of the data in the file but we're going to go ahead and click on repair and then um, hopefully Excel will, it might take a few minutes, but it might fix your issue with the spreadsheet and be able to open. And luckily if it does, all you have to do at that point is come up here and click on file, save as, and then come up and name your file something different. You can name it recovered or whatever you want to name it, but just have a different file name um, and go ahead and save that document. Now, when you open up the new saved document, you shouldn't have any issues or run into that error as long as it's been repaired successfully. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure and give it a thumbs up to like it. You can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Be sure and visit my website at SharonSmithHR.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.